Yeah, we decided we'd uh, get the band back together. You know, his uh, rise to fame was really quick. When he crashed, he crashed hard. <laughs> I think I've been a fan of Jack Union since I was born. His classic stuff is amazing. I mean, the early albums are my favorite anyways. So, I mean, come on, White Wolf. I, I've got, my parents just had them on record and then I got the cassette tapes. Um, I still listen to him pretty regularly. Pleasant Devastation is my favorite song of all time. I just love that song. I have a really special memory that goes along with that song and it's a little personal so I, I won't share right now but it was awesome. Uh, Linus who? Uh, oh my god. You're VG and you're here in my bar. This is incredible. Why do you need Linus? Let's just say uh, Jackie needs Linus. A new Jackie. A new Jackie? Yeah, a new Jackie. I'm not gonna give him up without a fight. What's it gonna take? What do you want? I want 15 minutes with Jack Union. 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Done. I'll call you. This is my house. But I know he's got some money. I mean, come on. Anyway, you see, uh, you see the house behind me? Yeah, that was my house, okay? So you ask how I'm doing. <laughs> This is kind of fun though. I mean, you know, having people come out and ask me questions. Usually I'm, I have the place looking a little bad at the tent, you know. I'm welcome though. What did I think of Linus? <laughs> Not much. I don't know what the hell he saw in Linus, but everything just went to shit after that, you know? And he literally left me on a street corner. I mean, he really was, he had a heart of gold. There was a time when uh, you know, we were on top of the world. We had a lot of money. And you know, you can do whatever you want. Anything you ever dreamed. And his dream was to be the first man to urinate on the moon. My 25th birthday, right? He gets, he gets me the, the real Mayor McCheese. You know, I mean, we had good times, but he could be a real <laughs> asshole. But we had some good times, though. We did. Honestly, I'm telling you. We could, he could be so funny. I mean, he could be so funny. <laughs> he cracked me up half the time. Does that answer your question? <laughs> this is my twin brother, Doug Dupin. And this is my twin sister, Donna Dupin. And we're from Dupin, Dupin water, water testing, testing and, pool and pool cleaning. We used to work for Jack Union. We used to test his water on a weekly basis. And we saw all kinds of crazy, nasty things in his pool. Lots of nasty women all over the place. Yeah, well, not so nasty. I thought they were nasty. I never th could see what they saw <laughs> in him. I mean, he's, let's face it, he's no Daryl Hall. He tried to turn the entire pool into a giant aquarium. Had to hire on additional staff, oh. vacuums, oh, bad. That giraffe, we found that poor giraffe floating <laughs> in the water. He uh. started to get the wrinkles like he was in the tub uh. too long. We actually found Linus on the bottom of the pool once. I had to jump in and save him. Mm -hmm. It took him a few days to dry out. We charged mm -hmm. him extra for all the nasty things that we had to clean out of the pool. Yeah. But it, we lived for it. We actually enjoyed doing it. You paid the rent. <laughs> How did I get to know Linus? Okay. Well, I was 12. It was the Curds and Whey convention in Sheboygan, and because I got to go, I went right up to the front because I was small. I could weave my way through. And so I got to the very front of the stage, and there was Jack Union singing his heart out at the front. And he was so good looking, and his shirt was 
ripped right open and I could see the sweat, one drop of sweat that started on his forehead and made its way all the way down his face and down his neck and down his chest. As a 12 year old, I didn't know what to do with myself. Jack Union jumped right from the stage into the crowd and on his way, I reached my hand up to touch him and there was Linus. Before I knew it, I grabbed hold of him and I pulled Linus down. I didn't know what had happened. Something came over me and I, I just stuffed Linus right into my pants and I hit the deck and I crawled my way through all of the popcorn and the soda and the beer and the, you know, the cigarette butts and the joints that were all over the floor. And I crawled my way through to the back and I just ran like a shotgun out that door. That's how I got Linus. Well, this is where Linus has been for the past 20 years. Oh my God. You've had him. Oh, hi. What's, what's, hi, what's wrong? Can, can you not speak? Whoa, don't, don't be touching the hair, baby. It's okay. Oh. What's wrong? Can, can I have Linus? Yeah, pretty please. Oh, Linus, baby, how have you been? Thanks, bird. <sighs> yeah. Linus, it's been a long, long time. They always said I can get things done. Hopefully, I just got something done. That'll make a big difference. Watch out, groupies. You look out, fire engines. Hey, zookeepers. Have your keys handy. Now it's all up to Jackie. I am the man that